Hey guys, today I want you guys to meet ZV Endor. And now you might be thinking, who is that? Well, you know this guy? Yeah. He's a YouTuber that makes informative videos about mostly hip hop, but also covers topics outside of it too. Interesting enough, after watching these videos, you notice that this man is a great storyteller. Even many of the comments, well, commented on this part as well. So that made me wonder, why is bro such a good storyteller? Well, today I'll be analyzing his videos and show how and why bro is this good. So you guys know me scrolling through YouTube and watching content. But then I looked at this video talking about how Frank Ocean is deadly. And I'm thinking to myself, Frank Ocean, the guy that made Blonde. And that guy on that Kanye track. But but that didn't really matter. So I ended up watching the video. And I realized that this man is a great storyteller. Considering that this man got me through rabbit holes after rabbit holes after rabbit holes. So after watching these videos, I realized that he has several qualities that make him a really good storyteller. Starting off with one. His hook, pacing, and structure. See, Tyler had a problem. There was this guy talking crazy about him online, and this guy's name was Chris Brand. Abel Tesfe, aka The Weeknd, had a problem. There was this man that had taken a special interest in his career. Now, I know what you're thinking. How is that a problem? Well, this man's name was Drizzy Drake. You ever wonder what the world would be like if Charles Manson decided to become an actor? Well, lucky for you, you don't have to. Meet Shia LaBeouf. And you see, Shia had a problem. Did you catch that? CV starts off with presumably the subject and its problem. For example, this video surrounding Drake, The Weeknd, and Kendrick Lamar starts off with The Weeknd because the story originated from The Weeknd having problems with Drake. Just like how in the Frank Ocean video, Tyler the Creator had a problem with Chris Brown. And he explains on how Frank Ocean got into the beef later because Tyler the Creator and Frank Ocean are pretty much friends and that's how he got into the beef. But here's the thing. By executing this in the first 10 to 15 seconds, CV allows himself to contextualize and lay out the story, which brings me to his pacing. You see, when he tells us these stories, he uses jump cuts to get rid of long pauses. Brand this video or you won't end up just like them. Listen, first things first, again. Like mentioned in the hook, he quickly establishes the problem and how it escalates to build up the conflict. But anyone can do that, right? It's just the structure of a story. But how does he do it? Well, let's look at the Kai Sinet video that he did a week ago because for one, he introduces Kai, the subject, the popular Twitch streamer, Sexy Red because she's Sexy Red and she's just there, and Max, the problem, or in this case, the psychotic magician. Then CV was able to build up towards the conflict. Remember, at first Kai didn't know that Max was psychotic because Max was well known in the streaming platform. You know, you had Drewski there, you had some type of rapper that got onto stream. So Kai was familiar with him. Until Kai realized that Max was psychotic because, you know, he's like, bro thinks he's a Riddler. You know what I mean? Max gives him Two buttons, he's like, oh, one kills me, one doesn't, and Kai picks the one that kills him on stream. How many, how many, what's it gonna be? Many, many, many more cats take a bite, so if you wanna let it go, let it go. My mom told me to pick this one. We outside in the basketball court right now with Max Major. I don't know what the fuck to do right now. <laughs> now, this is where it starts to get wicked or interesting, because CV was able to introduce the twist, in which Kai receives a note from Max, stating that Max wanted to ruin his life because of the mistreatment that he think that he got from Drewski and his other friends. So he goes on to explain on how Kai and his team gets the assistant, Max's assistant, and eventually lets him go. But there is a key part here that I think I wanted to highlight. The fact that CV was able to give character to the people that were involved. For example, he gives people from Kai's team personality. Like he states, remember these two dudes as Kai's day ones or OGs. Kid, let me tell you something about dudes over here in the back. These two are the ones to watch out for. They are ready to violate, bro. In fact, they grew up with Kai Sanat. So you can imagine how upset they are at bro for, you know, trying to ruin their boy's career. He even mentioned the freaking bodyguard that wanted to box him so badly, the assistant. In fact, Kai's bodyguard gets to the map or that talking point, it's time for hands. The assistant says, wait, no, 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 no. And notice how his, his language is played out here. He could have just said, oh, his team just wanted to find him. But instead, he said, nucking, bucking, and boxing. 
You're not going to hear that type of language from an old man, but instead a friend who's just really good at storytelling, in which it's CV. But now that we've mentioned his hook and pacing are the fundamentals of storytelling, there's still features about him that help him garner such a large audience, like the personality. You see, when CV tells us a story, he often does it with an authentic personality. Like mentioned before, his language matches a Gen Z personality, which his, it is his ideal viewer. Not only that, but he also gives the people in these stories actual life. Like stated previously in the Kai Sinet video, he tells us what the characters do by seeing it as if he was the character. Let's look at the Drake and Weekend's interactions. The Weekend goes to a studio session. Drake pops up in the studio session. The Weekend goes, oh, welcome. Draco goes, that's yeah, cool. And, hey, what song is that playing right now? The Weekend goes, oh, this is my song. It's called The Right. Draco's. oh, let me get the song. Straight up, just like that. Give me the song. Or even the Frank Ocean, Chris Brown interactions. So then, it's all good. Chris extends his hand out to be shaked. Frank goes, I ain't touching you, shun. Chris goes, okay, no big deal. Yee! Chris swings on the boy. He even goes by far by saying this. Now, I got the inside scoop for you. Come here. Rumor has it that Vince Staples himself is the reason why the brawl stopped. Why? Because Vince decides to bring out the, you feel me? Now and this what he was. Now, if you don't know what he did, YouTube technically won't allow me to tell you. So we're going to use a term I saw others using, chasing cupcakes. If you don't know what that might mean, then look in the comments and they'll explain. Now, EDP had a problem. Throughout his many videos, it feels like it's actually him writing these stories and his tone makes it welcoming. It just feels natural and it doesn't feel like he's telling us in a script with a monotone or those nonchalant tone. Like, he could have just said, oh, you know Drake? Yeah, he's insecure. But this is why Sevi does so well outside of hip-hop. The audience comes for him and his storytelling, not the other way around. And that actually leads me to our next point, which is his engagement with the audience. You see, if you have watched a Sevi video, you would know that he's able to engage the audience with either a hook or sometimes just within the story. I mean, this man literally asked this question. You ever wonder what the world will be like if Charles Manson decided to become an actor? He also asks the viewer like a little choose your adventure game in this Frank Ocean video. What do you do in this situation? A, say, no, I'd rather just go on my merry way. Or B, sure, it's going to be a fair one-on-one -on -one fight. Take me to Chris Brown. If you chose B, then you're a little slow, but I still rock with you. The answer is what Frank Ocean did. He said, oh no, y'all boys up to something, y'all tweaking, and he speeds off. Tying this up with his personality and language, CV knows how to speak to an, an audience and makes it feel like we're riding on a roller coaster with him. I mean, he literally asks his audience to translate phrases in the comment section so that people would understand what he's talking about. So, what makes CV such a great storyteller? Well, we know that it's not just his structure or pacing of his stories, but it's also the ability to make his stories feel authentic and alive. You can tell that he's mastered the art of storytelling because he makes us feel like we're talking to a friend and not to a robot. Oh, by the way, just wanted to add here, I did not know that he actually has a music channel on YouTube, so bro has been underrated the whole entire time, and I'm, and I'm glad that he's actually been popping off on YouTube because... He deserves it. Now, if you enjoyed this video, firstly, thank you for watching. But secondly, up here are two videos that you guys will probably enjoy. The first one talks about the most underrated song off Damn. And the second one talks about the most underrated part of Corey Extension. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in those videos.